Welcome to Eskimo TV. I'm talking today to Dr. Raj Malipedi. Dr. Malipedi is a consultant dermatologist and dermatological surgeon based in London, UK. He works in both the NHS and private sector and is head of the Dermatological Surgery and Laser Unit at St. John's Institute of Dermatology, St. Thomas's Hospital. Hi, Dr. Malipedi. How are you? Hi, good afternoon, Joanne. Thank you. Dr. Malipedi, let's talk today about lasers in dermatology. What are lasers? The word laser stands for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. So it's an acronym. And lasers are devices which can emit very intense, powerful beams of monochromatic light. That's just one wavelength. So sunlight has all the wavelengths of light. Lasers will pick one of those wavelengths for a specific target. And obviously in dermatology, that's a target in the skin. And that target may be hemoglobin for blood vessels, melanin for pigment or for hair removal, or water for resurfacing lasers, which uh, essentially burn away layers of skin. What are the various conditions that dermatologists can treat using lasers? Uh, we can treat a whole host of conditions, ranging from vascular lesions, i.e. to do with blood vessels, uh, birthmarks, um, small red spots called cherry angiomas, um, those veins, thread veins people have in the nose as they get older, uh, and also as part of rosacea. Uh, pigment lasers can treat um, certain birthmarks, which are, which are pigmented. They can treat uh, sunspots or age spots. And of course, uh, hair removal, which is the most common uh, laser procedure. Um, some of the more modern lasers, called fractional lasers, uh, punch small microscopic holes in the skin, but leave intervening bits of skin intact. And these have uh, revolutionized the way we can perform resurfacing, uh, which it can be used for anti-aging purposes to reduce wrinkles, remove scars, even stretch marks uh, now uh, can be improved to an extent. How does the dermatologist decide which laser will be used for which treatment? Uh, each laser will have a specific indication. Some lasers have multiple indications, but we, we know based on the physics of lasers that Vascular lasers will work best at a particular wavelength for treating blood vessels, and the same is true for the, the other lasers. So um, they'll all have their uses, and we learn which ones are best for each condition. If we were to look at lasers, um, for example, let's say for the removal of tattoos, what laser would be used and how many treatments would be required for that? Well, tattoos are problems uh, to do with pigment. So one needs a laser that's going to remove the tattoo pigment. So we would use what's known as a uh, Q-switched laser. So Q-switched lasers are lasers with very high peak powers that shatter the pigment in the tattoo particles. And then your body sends cells called macrophages which come and mop up the removed pigment. Uh, and you're quite right to ask how many sessions because for tattoos, multiple sessions are required, typically six, maybe more, depending on the tattoo. And black tattoos respond the best. Um, what are the risk factors um, if any, of using lasers? There, there can be complications with such powerful devices. Um, one of those may be discoloration of the skin. So that's more common in darker skin types where the heat from the laser has destroyed the pigment in the skin. And that can lead to the area treated being 
lighter or darker than intended. For resurfacing lasers, uh, scarring is a risk if one is too aggressive and, and burns uh, too deeply, for want of a better phrase. The other uh, risk, of course, is that um, one has several sessions and there isn't much improvement. Uh, and that's also uh, a possibility for very difficult birthmarks and difficult to choose sometimes. Thank you, Dr. Malipedi. Thank you so much for talking to me today. Thank you.